And thank you once again, David, for coming along. Thank you. Good to have you back on awesome. the channel. It's nice to be back. There's a good look at the <laughs> Eventon Adventure. That's a tongue twister every time it I say is. it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this bike is real. It's especially the step through is real. Uh, I think it's a, a really good bike for uh, for a female. Even a even a person with limited mobility, the step through is a really good option. I was thinking about a step through, and it's not uh, it's not anything like it's a girl's bike as opposed to a boy's bike. It's it's nothing like that. It's either a step over or a step through, and so it's basically basically the same bike. With the step through, you just got a little bit more mobility. Do you remember the weight of your bike? I can't remember uh, what. This bike is 72 pounds. Oh, that's that's lightweight. And so if you take the battery out, you're about right at about 10 pounds with the battery. So once you take the battery out, it makes it uh, it makes it a breeze to mount on my uh, on my bike rack. When you started out today, did you come with a fully charged battery? I did come with a fully charged battery, Mark. I don't know where I'm at right now. Let's see where I am I here. Pum, pa, dum, pum, pa. I am 64 percent. Well, that's not bad. But I mean, I've been I've been doing a lot of uh, throttling and that, so I mean. I knowing the distance we covered, I know I'm going to have plenty of uh, of battery life, so I'm not trying to conserve it or anything. So if I was being more conservative, I probably could be up into 70, 75 or something like that. But because I know we're not that far from home. Have you ever done a ride where you've used up, you got a little nervous that you were using up a lot of your battery and you were getting close or were you, you pretty much keep your eye on that and uh well it and it's all going to depend on the rider and that i know when we did the banks to vernonia uh trail which the the trail the total trail is about 26 miles and we did about half of it so that's 13 up and 13 back so uh because i use more throttle than let's say my wife and daughter because they're just they're just pedaling all the time and that so i think once we got done with that trail ride which was about 26 miles i was down to what was it i think i was down to maybe something like was it 24 i want to almost was I down to about 13%? Hmm. I may have been down to maybe 13 or so percent. So but still, I knew I had plenty of Right, so yeah. do you think 30 miles is probably, or, or a bit more maybe, or do you I think? think? I think so, and it's gonna depend on uh, if you're riding more on a flat surface, if you're not doing a lot of hill climbing, and it's gonna depend on the rider. And were you carrying any extra weight besides yourself? I did not carry any extra weight, but even if I, I don't think I would carry anything that would be more than the weight of probably an extra battery. Right. You know, water, maybe a bag with sandwiches in it, something to drink or something like right. that. Some, not yeah. very, that'd be lightweight. That, yeah, so I don't think, uh, it, for me, I don't think it, that's gonna make a difference. But if I was really going a long ways, Mark, I would probably just be checking my battery life and that, and I just do more pedaling. Right. I do more pedaling, less throttling. I just kind of limit my throttling and pick and choose when I'm throttling. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I really don't, I really like the bike. You know, of course I haven't had it quite a year, but, uh, it's nice it's nice nice and heavy uh you only you only feel the heaviness of these bikes 
when you're uh, going slow and you're maneuvering, you know what I mean? And there might be some twists and turns in the trail. That's when you might feel the heaviness of the bike. But other than that, when you're moving, you don't feel the heaviness of the bike at all. You agree with that? Yeah. You don't really yeah. feel the heaviness of the bikes. No. They're somewhat heavy, but you don't feel them. Going 20 miles an hour, it's almost just like the old days riding the old 10 speed. You know? Yeah, I mean, every bike that I've ridden, they all feel different. You know, it's like when you get into a car, right? Every car feels different to you than, you know, the other. Right. And the bikes are the same way. Yes. You know, some of them may not be as much as others, but no. this bike here, to me, the Lyric Graffiti is my favorite. Well, I mean, it. I like everything about it. Like, I like the positioning. I like sure. the the style of the bike. I like uh -huh. the uh, uh, I like having the uh, gearless hub motor, nice and quiet. Uh, I like the regen braking a lot. Oh, I got to admit. Bet. In an ideal world, we'd be able to go to the. Uh, to the bike mall you know yeah and you'd be able to look and you'd have all get the different brands that are popular bikes and maybe you could uh, check them out you could get a little bit more expert information and you'd be able to maybe ride them on this spot that way you could ride a couple of two three different bikes and find out yep. what's to your liking exactly that's exactly how i feel in like addition if we... to the buying the, what's what I like about stuff like this is the journey. Yeah. You know, the homework, the looking, deciding what bikes for you, and then the anticipation, ordering the bike, waiting on the bike to arrive. All of that is just as fun to me as uh, the ride, just the whole experience of it is yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, if you could go into a store and we could try, there was 10 bikes there. I think we could narrow it down pretty quick on one ride for each bike. You could narrow it down to three or four and then get down to the one you, you like. Because I think yeah. there's nothing better than actually getting on the bike yourself and trying it. Because I think, you know, right now all we can do is rely on, for myself, what other people think of the exactly. bike and what the specs say exactly. for the bike. Yeah. We don't get to hop on all the bikes and try them firsthand, unfortunately. No. no. And I, just like yourself, I just try to give what I think of the bike and how I right. feel for riding it, but it right. doesn't necessarily yeah. mean somebody else is going to feel the same exactly way. Exactly, because I didn't, I mean, I didn't experience any other bikes or test ride any other bikes. I ordered this bike before I had ever ridden an electric bike. So this is, you know, and yeah. that, and that's kind of the what you run into with electric bikes. You know, you it's hard to go somewhere and really look at different bikes and that and get a chance to sit on them and that yeah and there's different factors that are going to come into play like i think for yourself it was the fact that you could get yours repaired right there was a yeah, repair that shop was a, that was a good that was a big part of it and just the fact that um for whatever reason the 26 by 4 just kind of for whatever reason it, I kind of once I got into looking at that I wasn't really looking at any other type of bikes I was looking at this type of fat tire setup and that so I like it if I was to do it over again Mark I would still stay with the 26.4 because I really like that type of setup in that um, I really like Aventon. I don't know if I would. There's bikes out there now that uh, I, that may would sway me to go in a different direction, but uh, only 520 miles on this bike. I mean, man, you know. Do you know now after riding this for a while, if you did eventually get a second bike, which I know someday you probably will, uh, do you know where where you'd go, or you don't know at this point what? Like, do you have any idea? A little more power? Or I, would, little more? I would be looking, just right now, I would be looking at probably the same type of bike, 26 by 4. I would probably be looking now because they got a lot of them out there with dual suspension. Right. So with this, I would have, that would give me dual suspension. And probably, probably would go with a bigger motor and a bigger setup because for the same price 
you can probably get the same performance right. in the bikes that are coming out now with a bigger motor. If I was doing really serious bike riding where I got rid of my vehicle and that, and that's not, I mean, that's not really far out there. That's right. not far fetched. Then I would be looking at probably a dual motor setup and that still in the 26 four probably like that that super crown super right. crown monarch now that's a big heavy bike and then it's got the dual motors in that yeah. so in yeah. the 26.4 since we got chatting here about the bike which is awesome i love the, the <laughs> chatting part thank you very much for uh, giving us a little more in-depth sure. on your bike and how you feel about e-bikes and mm -hmm. all uh we're just going to end this video here uh on that note so thank you, David, for giving us a little more in-depth uh, on your bike and how you feel about e-bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to hear someone else's perspective on how they feel about their bike or, or just e-bikes in general. Oh, yeah. So thank you, David. Thank you, Mark. On this awesome, video. Awesome, man. And uh, we'll be back, yes, David sir. and I, for future videos. So stay tuned for that. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. If you want to leave a comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section. So once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you, David. Thank you. And until next time, take care.